Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. In today's video, we're going to be sharing with you a few secrets that we do when we get ready to prepare some beans at camp. We're going to be using a 10 inch Dutch oven along with our old white burning gas Coleman cook stove. So let's get to the video. Guys, one of the things that I always do, and this is something my grandma taught me when I was just a kid, is you sort your beans out the night before, put them in a bowl of water. And if they're soaking overnight, when you get ready to start them the next morning, it'll make your cook so much quicker. And that's really important today, especially with the price of gas and fuel in general. So it just makes, it decreases your cook time by probably as much as a quarter of what it would take if you didn't take the time to pre-soak them. Again, this is something that I'll do right before I go to bed. At the start of this video, you're gonna see us running through this. I started these beans about three o'clock in the morning because Buster woke me up. We're gonna run into the wood shop kitchen real quick, which would be no different than going inside your tent and using your camp stove. I went ahead and I pre-cooked the sausage. You're gonna see me dumping it into the Dutch oven, kinda, cause it's still way dark out. Again, like I say, I started these about three o'clock in the morning and trust me when I say this, guys, it was probably about 6.30 or seven, the sun had come up good, the beans were done. It didn't take that long to cook them, cooked them on kind of a medium high in the in the cast iron dutch oven again we did put the lid on that just kind of helps that steam and kind of steam your beans and everything go a lot quicker one little quick tip if you guys like it spicy i love my beans spicy i always throw a jalapeno in there if you don't put a cut in it it's not going to be too hot for your wife or somebody angie doesn't like the hot jalapeno spicy stuff so the quick tip on that, and again, that's something that my mother taught me when I was just a kid. If you want your beans to be spicy when you throw your jalapeno in it, you can either cut it or slice it or put a mark in it so that those oils from the jalapeno can leak out and it's really gonna spice up your beans. If you got somebody in your family that does not like the hot and spicy, don't cut them, but you can throw them in there that way when you put them in your bowl you can cut them up and now you've got a really super hot spicy bowl of beans however your wife or significant other or whatever their beans are not spicy at all you can even feed them to buster for that matter again guys we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes i hope that some of these tips have helped you when you get ready to cook your beans at camp this next time you go camping again may you all have a blessed week and let's get outside and make something happen oh and until next week's video comes out, be sure to check out one of our playlists. There's bound to be something that you would enjoy from fishing deep east Texas to we're going to be doing some trad hunting, guys. That's probably where we're at by the time this video airs. So if you're interested in camping, we're going to have some great videos with the new tent as well coming out soon. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen.